sometime in the past, I don't know, maybe two weeks, I had woken up and I had this dream. And it involved a really big bridge and a ton of people, most of which I didn't know. But as I made my way through this sea of people, I saw some familiar faces along the way. Those being the familiar faces of some of my ancestors or, or loved ones that have transitioned. Um, but people were moving together to take their position was the message in the stream. And I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but although we have all these shifts going on, there's still a lot of chaos and negative energy festering. I know there are a lot of fear-mongering things at play. I know people in my own life that we're doing so well and again I'm not saying any of this with judgment because I'm a firm believer in you meet people where they are but as an observer I observe them making these positive changes right and now they're just self-sabotaging and they're just pulling the rug out from under them because they're allowing fear and hatred and anger to get the best of them as those out there who are trying to help you know the world, uh, the collective, whatever you want to call it. You know, you're just here to make the world a better place than how you found it, right? It's time to freaking anchor in. And for those that this resonates with, I don't know if it shows up like a beacon of light or a watchtower or a lighthouse, but I know many people have gotten dreams, visions, messages in regards to those things. We are at a point where, I've said it before, and a good friend of mine has as well, about where to help as many as we can, but not at the sacrifice of ourselves. And I say that not because we're not here to help people, but you're not the martyr and you're not the sacrificial lamb. And right now, more than ever, again, I don't know if it's just me or people close to me, but I've noticed that it's getting harder and harder to communicate with people. And when I say communicate, when people are in fear and anger, they think that any kind of communication is an argument. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but they're not actively communicating, they're communicating to respond. And right now, silence might be your biggest ally. Don't get caught up in the chaos. Anchor in as much as you can, as high as you can, wherever you're at. This this isn't a comparison game. It's not you need to be anywhere where anybody else is. And no, no. All the work you put in this far, just anchor in where you're at. Don't play into the bullshit. And don't let yourself get sucked back down into playgrounds that you have no business playing in. When I say it's time to take our positions, or that that time is coming soon, it's like where do you draw your line in the sand, what do you stand for? The time to show what you stand for is rapidly approaching. Love you guys.